Welcome to our review on alloys. First thing we need to understand then is what we're actually talking about when we use this word alloy. And quite simply, what it is is a mixture of two or more elements, at least one of which has to be a metal. So we need to know three alloys, what they're made of, and their typical uses for our exam. So the first one is this stuff called amalgam, and the main metal in that alloy is mercury. And what we use that for is the old silver fillings in teeth. Next alloy is brass, which is made of copper and zinc, and that one we're going to use in musical instruments and coins. And finally, the last alloy we need to remember is solder, which is made of lead and tin, and we use that to join electrical wires together. If we consider the properties of the alloys, then what we find is alloys are often stronger and harder than the metals that they contain. If we consider the example of our brass, which is made of copper and zinc, then pure copper on its own obviously contains only copper atoms. All of those copper atoms are the same size. So that means they form this lovely regular arrangement and those layers are capable of sliding over each other if we stretch it or bend it. If we then mix the copper with zinc, what we find is that the zinc atoms are a different size to the copper atoms, which means we don't have that regular arrangement anymore. What we find is that because the atoms are different sizes, the layers can't slide over each other when it's stretched or bent, which makes it that much stronger material overall. We also have a new version of alloys called smart alloys. So the best example and one you may have heard about is a shape memory alloy. So this is what we use in glasses frames that they advertised an awful lot a while back where you can literally bend them in all different shapes and they go back to normal. So what we actually find is that as soon as we bend one of these shape memory alloys out of shape, then they will return to their normal shape, their original shape, when we warm them up. So we've got this stuff called nitinol, which we use in these glasses frames. And what happens is it doesn't need a high temperature to return to its normal shape. In fact, it will return to its original shape below room temperature. So if you've ever kind of sat on your glasses or fallen asleep wearing them and therefore kind of smushed them all out of shape, then unlike the traditional framed glasses that you'd then be left with wonky glasses and having to try and rebend them yourself without snapping them, then literally as soon as you stand up or as soon as you kind of take them off your head and allow them to obviously return to their normal shape, they will. So this means that we've now got this material, this smart alloy that allows our glasses to return to their normal shape without us having to carry out this very fine bending process that we used to have to go through.